Hi guys, uh, this is my tutorial for a do-it-yourself Waypro uh, 2010 um, pH probe holder and a uh, temperature sensor, digital one, which I bought off eBay. These guys are about $20, um, a little bigger than I expected. They certainly look a little bit smaller in the picture, but they look pretty cool. Um, they got a large display, okay, and they come with just a standard sort of firm, uh, temperature probe, okay. So I've looked on uh, the internet and from many forums, and uh, there's a lot of guys um, who are doing a do-it-yourself sort of holders, but it's all pretty cryptic. It's all American stuff. So a lot of everything I bought um, from the plumbing section is from Bunnings. Okay, except this part here, um, I got this from Amazon. Um, it's probably about five dollars or four dollars. It's an Anko wire seal um, screw on. The uh, important thing to note is the part number. The part number is uh, seven six five double o two, and that fits a uh, half an inch um, cable, which is exactly the same size as the uh, Waypro probe, and I'll show you that to you later. Okay, the actual, I bought two of these just to have a spare. Um, it made sense just to buy two instead of one. Maybe um, these threads will wear out, stuff like that, so it was worth doing that. The actual cable thread just opens up and the probe goes inside there. Okay, like I said, this is half an inch. I bought this adapter from Bunnings. It's a half an inch to a three quarter inch adapter. Okay, and all the actual pieces which I put together are all three quarters. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll uh, take out the probe, and I'll just show you how that fits. Okay. Okay. When you open the um, Waypro PH controller, that's what it looks like. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get. My instructions are in Chinese. Uh, I found uh, the English instructions online. It wasn't too hard to, to actually find. The pH probe just looks like this. It's a glass probe. Um, it comes submerged in a liquid. Okay, and that's half an inch in diameter. Okay, so what I'll do is um, show you guys how that fits. As long as you keep it submerged. That's important. Okay, so what's the probe? Okay. Actually, sorry, I put that in the front. And as you can see, it tightens up. And that's very, very tight. Forms a really nice water seal. Okay, that's not going anywhere. The idea is for the probe to actually stick out. It's about like that into the three quarter pipes, okay. I'll just take, put that back in. Ah, so it doesn't dry out. Okay, back in the box. So put that away for now, okay. Okay, the reason I chose three and a quarter, not anything larger, is um, my AHEM 16 mil tubing is pretty much identical size or very close to the three quarter inch pipes. Um, I wanted to keep all my inline stuff about the same size. Um, anything bigger or smaller might bottleneck or just, I don't know, um, might cause a problem. So I just wanted to keep everything the same all the way through from the intake to out, um, to the inlet to the outlet. Okay, so that's fairly similar. Okay, so the idea is um, to get two of these T's. As you can see, I have one T here, two T there, some three quarter threads, they're both the same on each side. Okay, um, two angle joints. Okay. Um, I recommend using a tape. This pink stuff's here is um, the heavy duty 
um, unlike the white stuff, it's only three dollars for about 10, 10 meters. So, just put that on. Okay, just like that. The beauty about using tape is that you can actually um, remove this stuff later. You can choose to use glue, but it's permanent, okay? Um, the reason why I wanted to use tape is because if I unscrew it later for maintenance or for cleaning, so it makes sense, just get a rocket wrench, I think that's what it's called, just get a wrench and just make it tight. It's not... Fit. That's water tight, nothing's gonna happen to that. Okay. I will do the same thing here. Fairly simple. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, I'll put a price list and description of all the parts. Um, but all of these are found in the um, sprinkler sprinkler irrigation section at the Bunnings. Um, everything except these guys, which is the plumbing, very three quarter as well. But I'll talk about that later. Okay, it's the same sort of thing. You can do this once by hand, because you can actually grip them. Okay, nice and easy. Now, the reason I got two is because this is a dual. Because um, I wanted to put the temperature probe in there as well. Um, what I used is one of these, what are they called? Plug-ins, three quarters. Okay, I've drilled a hole, just small enough to fit the wire through. Okay. The idea is for the probe to actually sit in the water flow submerged about that day, okay? And what I'll do is um, I'll use this Sealy's glass and silicone sealer, which is for aquariums as well. And I'll just fill the whole cap here to make it watertight. So then when you screw it in, there will be no chance of leakage, okay? So I'll do that now actually. Okay, so um, just filled that with silicon. Um, fill it as much as I can. Um, that should be enough to form a watertight seal. And I think I've left enough just so it sticks out a little bit. It should be sufficient for our needs. Okay. Okay, so on a very basic level, um, this is my first design. Um, I use two of these um, little adapters uh, that fits a 19 mil hose. It will fit a standard 16, uh, 16 mil uh, aquarium tubing. You will need to submerge this in, a, in hot water for about 15-20 seconds. It will actually go on with a nice tight fit. Uh, there shouldn't be absolutely any problems with that. Okay. So I put these three quarter bowl valves. Uh, which I mentioned before you can get from the plumbing section uh, just to turn this turn it off turn the water off um, I wanted to do that just in case I want to pull this apart for maintenance so that was my original design um, I'm thinking about also doing a variation of this and I'll show you guys um, but now okay so this is the variation I was talking about um, on one hand you can just have a going straight to a bow valve, a three-quarter bow valve. On the other, you can use a three and a half, uh, sorry, three-quarter um, John Guest look-alike um, to go between um, the uh, pH probe on either end. So it should pretty much go like that. And one on the other side. And the bow valve. The reason I'm thinking about doing this is if I mount this under the aquarium um, I want to be able to pull this apart because if this is screw on it might be difficult to pull apart for cleaning but if I have this I can just unscrew it and I can easily just detach it so I think I'll probably stick to this design um, or if you like this one depends if you want to pull it apart or not but in the end that's what it looks like so I'll go through the items again, so 
um, two angle joints connector here, here, and another one for the other side. So you have three of these, um, an end thread, uh, two or three quarter bow valves, and uh, the uh, 19 mil connector there, um, the three quarter to a half an inch adapter, the anchor core plug, the tape, okay, and the two RTs, and that will do it. Okay, thanks for watching.